What's up, everybody? We're back. Green Valley Ranch once again, checking out their 50 cent minimum roulette machine. And uh, we're going to be working a little um, interesting system today that I worked on last night, or I've been working on for a little bit. Um, it's essentially a three-step martingale, so it's a shot-taking system. Um, as you can see in the picture, I have 25. I actually got, I had 50 cents with me, and I need 550 to do this for the three steps. But we're going to use Gambler's Fallacy, and look, we had two, eight. So we're going to stay away from um, that first half of the table. We're going to play this half, and essentially what we're going to do here is we're going to um, martingale. So we're going to go to one dollar if we miss this, and then we're going to go to two dollars on the double dozens so it's going to be 550 at the 50 cent level and we'll see if we can um potentially double up our money here so let's see if we can go from um, 550 to 11 or let's just strive for 10 i guess we'll do so we're trying something a little bit different and um, if this works out we may increase the stakes and try it a little bit higher all right so that's a four so that's three in a row right there and um it's funny because in my experience um i probably played like 15 different sessions over the course of the past week trying this out and um, pretty much all of them were su successful. Um, I did have a few bad run-ins, but a lot of times I got my units on the first two level. So we'll see if we can um, do that or this ha it happens here the same way it did for me there. Um, we do have three over there. Um, essentially what I was doing was waiting for one. It is gambler's fallacy to try to assume that a virtual spin is relevant because um, each spin is independent of the other. But um, hopefully we can just try to get a hit here. Um, hopefully we don't go broke trying this real quick, but Send me your love, send me your vibes. We're looking for the high half of the table. Let's get what we're looking for right here. 19 through 36. 19 through 36. And, oh, that was gonna be a 29, but we get a 19. So luckily for us, it's the result we want. And we gain that extra unit right there. So we have 50. Um, I wouldn't have needed the um, voucher that I had for 50 cents because we do gain it right there. So I would have had it. Like I said, it takes a total of 550 to go through three steps. Um, so. Let's continue uh, working it here. So let's stick with what we have. Um, we do have a middle dozen now. So essentially what I'm gonna do, um, we still haven't hit that right side. So I'm okay with um, continuing on that. So let's do that again. I guess I should be going the opposite side now that I think about it, but we did have quite a bit of run out on that um, left side. So we'll see if we can get it here. And realistically, it doesn't matter which side you pick or um, how many spins you sit out or whatnot. Um, you could run into a bad run at any point in time. It's all about the timing and luck. Let's see if we can get a high one. Oh, set my favorite number. Look at that. If we were playing that, whew, it would have been good right off the rip. But unfortunately, we're not. If I was playing the left side, we would have been good as well. But let's stick with what we started with here. So we're going to go up to a dollar and we are by ourselves this morning. It's a beautiful Thursday morning in Las Vegas. Uh, it's roughly almost nine o'clock, probably about 8.45. And uh, let's see if we can get it on the second spot that we got it here last time. This will give us another 50 cent gain. And once again, we're just using a three-step martingale. Um, you could just try to acquire one unit or two units doing this if your units are high, but just a different approach, different ways to um, go after the roulette wheel. So look at that, eight. All right, so we're going to the double dozen phase right now. And we're going $2. And essentially what you're trying to do is stick with the side that you did. So you're working like a reverse parachute rather than reducing your coverage and um, keeping the same bet or trying to decrease it. Um, what you're doing is increasing your coverage, increasing your bets, hoping for the high hit rate. We did have an eight right there. So if we see um, two dozens um, in a row, then we'll get a total loss. Otherwise, we're hoping for the 13 through 36. If we did go with the first half of the table, we would have been good to start. But that's all right, we're gonna get it right here. Send me your love, your vibes. Looking for 13 through 36. Let's get that result we're looking for. 13 through 36. There we go, we get a 28, so. Sticking to our guns, the three-step martingale. And once again, it just offers a little bit um, variation on if we did continue going after our bet over there. We're increasing our coverage by a double street, hoping to isolate, um, you know, that, that part of the table that's been hitting, that's been causing you to miss, hoping it doesn't continue to repeat. So, 650. Um, we did have that side of the table. I said before, I do kind of like to wait for two, but let's just go with it for the sake of um, keeping the action going here. And the music is really loud right now, unfortunately. So I do want to give the warning if it has gotten blanked out or does get blanked out, that is the reason why uh, the audio gets blanked out if they detect copyright music. So hopefully I can talk over it. And let's get a one through 18. That's what we're looking for here. Keep accumulating those units. So far, so good. Let's stay on cruise control. 
15, we get a 20, of course, right? We can never pick the right one off the rip. And it's funny because um, in my simulations or doing it, eventually I hit a spot where I just run out, like, you know, eventually your half of the table runs out for four or five spins. Um, so hopefully if we can get that to happen, that would help us accumulate the profit or get towards the profit target that we're looking for. But once again, we're sticking with our guns. We're just gonna double from here. And then if we get a miss on this, we're gonna go $2 on the first and the second dozen. Once again, trying to isolate that second half of the table that's been hitting. And hopefully we'll have some luck here. We don't need to go to that step. But just a small variation. Um, we could just, you know, you could do a three-step Martingale, four-step Martingale with the same amount of money, essentially. But like I said, um, it does kind of work out a lot when you play those double dozens. And if you would have gotten two misses on the half of the table, um, hopefully you get it on your third one. So let's get it right here. First half of the table, low half. And we get a 22. So that would have hit our doubles, dozens right there. But we're good with it. So let's um, increase now. Let's go two and two. Let's see if we can get the hit we're looking for. Staying consistent and persistent. Um, another variation you could do with this too, as I um, fooled around with, was you could double your buy-in and do a Grand Martingale and try to increase the units as you go up in the steps. And you do acquire them a little bit faster um, with a little bit risk, more risk involved. So I wouldn't really net recommend 100% profit target that way, but you could because you are gaining the extra units, but you are um, exposed a lot more that way. All right, let's go. First half, low half. There we go. Sticking with our guns right next to that 17 too. So we get five and once again, it works out for us. So like I said, in my simulation, this is pretty much the um, par for the course, how I have it or how it's been running for me. So we're at $7, we're in for 550. Not too much struggle. Once again, it's only three steps. So um, we do have the five on that side. Let's see, should we wait for two? I don't think I, I, don't think I really wanna wait. Like I said, um, I'm not one that usually likes to play virtual spins or sitting out for spins, waiting for them to miss or hit. Um, I kinda like to be involved in all the spins just cause you know, relative to the time invested. Um, I don't, I like to be in and out. I don't like to sit around for hours. Um, I take small breaks in between as well. So, um, but pick your poison. Everyone has their own approach. Um, some people prefer to only take a, a select shot at a few spins rather than all of them. And that's okay too. Let's get that high half. Give us that high half. Give us that high half. That's a seven. Come on. We cannot get the first one. So I don't, I don't believe if I'm, uh, if I'm not mistaken, we haven't gotten the first bet yet. All right, let's double it. We're going to a dollar. And essentially what I like to do or what I've been doing in the simulations um, on the two, I think it was two or three times that I lost. Um, I, I actually made almost my money back by the time I lost it. Um, so what I do is I don't go past the three steps. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna save the money that we've made on this as a cushion um, and potentially use it for um, recycle it into the next session and take another shot were it to fail. But we're gonna stay positive. Glass is always half full. Hope you guys like this um, experiment with the three-step martingale. We get a 30. All right, there we go. So we get it on the second step here. So that's going to put us up to 750, which is a four-unit gain, which isn't that bad considering the uh, low risk we're taking. We don't have much money in the machine. We don't have that temptation, or if people have that temptation to, um, you know, utilize their money going deep in a progression and they're not comfortable with it, this kind of removes that as well. So we did have a 30 over there. Let's stick with the theme. We're going to switch. But let me know your input. I appreciate everybody's um, opinions, um, positive or negative. I appreciate it if you're constructive with the negativity, but um, to each their own, you know? So let's get it, let's go. Some of your loves, let's get it here. One through uh, 18 is what we're looking for. 30 was the last number to show up. Let's get that one through 18. Come on, show us the love. Show us the love, first spin one time. 26, we cannot get it first spin. It is just not meant to be for some reason. Maybe I should uh, do follow the winner with this system. Um, you know, that could be a variation that we do. Let me know if you guys have any, like, like I said, if you guys have any opinions or alterations that you may do to this, please let me know. Um, this is just something I came up with um, fooling around. Rather than um, taking a three-step or four-step martingale on half the table, just trying to expand the hit rate at the most cost-effective way that I can, um, utilizing the small units that we are. And also, we don't need to get too many wins to double our money here. So um, although we do have a decent amount of risk of reaching our risk of ruin, um, it's really not that impactful. And if we do get a few units before that happens, then we have a cushion for the next buy-in. Um, and essentially, you know, you're not in that bad of shape. So unless you get hit on the first attempt, then uh, you're really not that bad off. So let's get that first half right here. One through 18. One through 18, that's a 21. So we are going up to the dozens, $2 again. We've been here before. Let's see if we can get out of it again. Let's hit that fast spin bet button. 
And um, if we take a loss here, we'll be at $2, meaning we gain four units during the process. Like I said, we're going to stay optimistic. We're going to get it here, 1 through 24. Send me your positive vibes, your love, your one times. Let's stay in the game. Let's try to reach our profit target. But if not, we could take that. We could do another buy-in, um, increase the units, and try to get it back a little bit quicker. Lots of variations you can do, but like I said, very low risk, decent reward. Let's get that 1 through 24. 1 through 24. There we go, 20. All right, so sticking to our guns, guys, we get it. And we are 10 minutes in, so what are we at right now? So we are at $8. We are approaching our goal. Hopefully we can get a first hit here. I don't, if I'm not mistaken, like I said, it's a little tough uh, trying to remember every, all the nuances of everything and trying to keep my train of thought, make sure the camera's in focus and uh, talking as well. So we got a 20, we got a 21. That is the high half. We got a 26, we got a 30. So we got lots of high half. So we're going to go with the um, low half again. So let's see if we can, looks like a lot of middle dozens there. 21, 20, 26 was the high, 30 was the high. So we should expect to see that low dozen at some point here. Let's hope we can get one on the first level. One through um, 18 is what we're looking for. Let's make it happen. 23, my girlfriend's favorite number to spite us. All right, so we are gonna be increasing the bets and I did forget to take a look at the history here of the statistics. This wheel is a little bit better. This um, screen over here I was showing you guys the other day. It's a different screen for whatever reason and it displays everything differently. As you can see, the history on the numbers is over here. Um, on this one, it's on the bottom for some reason. It's a little more uh, smaller, but 23 smacking right now. Wow, didn't even notice that. So take a look at that, pause it if you like. We're getting back in dollar on that uh, first half of the table. Let's see if we can get on the second step once again. And let's see if we can hit our profit target of $10. It would be a 50% gain. They're not they're not big uh, units. Like I said, it's a three-step, but let's see if we can do this successfully here. One through 18, second level. Show us a low. Show us a low. And that's just, wow, that was dirty. That looked like it was fine in that 33. And that's that pesky 33 that always shows up during my session, so... All right, let's see here. So we're repeating the bet. We are moving it up here once again. We've been here before. Let's hope we can get out of it again. We've been hitting the high half over here the whole time. So let's hit that low half one time. And if you didn't use up your one times before, let's use them up now. Hopefully we gain the unit we're looking for here. Um, otherwise, we'll have 250 left over. So as I said, it's kind of something you can do. Um, you know, you can carry that over to the next session. You could use it to keep going. You could reset right now. But what I think we're going to do is we're going to get that hit right here, 1 through 24. Let's get the love we're looking for. 1 through 24. 1 through 24. 1 through 24. There we go, 21. So, Whew, sticking to our guns. High table coverage coming through for us. And something to note right there, um, kind of interesting too, I should bring this up when I observe it, is that had we been going for the low half of the table and we just martingaled, we would have lost that. So we wouldn't need to keep going. And that high half is just running out. So once again, we're going to reset back down to the high half. This is kind of a great scenario for our system since we're looking for um, the majority of the half of the table. We're not playing to, the hits to have been there to start. So once again, we're expecting at some point, um, statistically, it should revert back to hitting over to the low half and hopefully we can take advantage of that. Hopefully we can get a few hits in a row here. So let's get one on the first level. I do believe this is the first one once again. All right, let's get that one through 18. One through 18. Come on, show us the love one time. Oh, and we get it 11. All right, I thought it was gonna go bounce out of the seven into the 30, I think it was. Yeah, I thought it was gonna bounce into the 30. So we get what we're looking for here. And we are at $9, so let's, um, oh, what do I want to do here? You know, I do say a lot of times that it's kind of artificial to um, try to meet a goal, especially when you're doing a high-risk system like this. So, you know, I'm kind of going to reassess my thought process on going after a 50% profit target. So what I'm going to do here is take the profit. Um, essentially right there, what we have is eight units or um, seven that we gained because I did add an extra 50 cents to make sure we had enough to complete um, the third step from the first round if we needed to go there. Um, we gained the unit, but um, essentially we gained seven units here. So I'm going to take it. We'll see what would have happened. Um, I believe I would have been playing the high half, so. Let's see what would have happened here. All right, we would have lost, so. Good, good point to stop it. No need to go deep into our progression. Um, I'm gonna take that. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take the profit out and maybe we'll come back and rebuy and try this again and see if we can have the same success we did here. So once again, let me know what you guys think of this. Just trying something a little bit different, kind of a low roller special, a way to um, attack a table with a low amount of units, hoping for a decent profit. So once again, let me know what you guys think. I appreciate all the love, all the support you're showing. Like and subscribe, smash that notification bell as well as a thumbs up. Coming at you from Green Valley Ranch, in for 550, out for nine. 
until next time.